Sybil was an incredibly powerful phenomenon in the 70s, the 1970s. Um, when the book debuted, people just went crazy over it, and within just a couple of years, it had sold over six million copies. It was selling about as briskly as the Bible when it first came out. And before Sybil came out, multiple personality disorder was a very, very rare disease. In the entire history of the world, there were, had only been a few dozen cases. Within just a few years, thousands of people had gone to psychiatrists and been diagnosed with multiple personality disorder. Almost all of them were women. What I found out in my research was that Sybil's um, psychiatrist had known about multiple personality disorder ever since she was a medical student and she wanted her own case for many years. I also found out that the woman who was Sybil ever since she'd been a child had been um, physically ill, she'd been mentally ill with other problems like anxiety and depression. She was also a very suggestible and fantasy prone little girl. She had imaginary playmates and she lived in a world of fantasy and she was very susceptible to people's suggestions about what she should think or do. And I found out in my research that um, she had gone to a psychiatrist who really wanted a case of multiple personality disorder and um, was willing to give Sybil a lot of the attention and affection that Sybil craved ever since she was a child, um, but at a cost, and that cost was that she produce multiple personality disorder. Dr. Wilbur was not a good writer. She knew she needed a professional writer to do this and she found Flora Schreiber. Flora Schreiber was looking for the next big thing herself. She wanted to write a bestseller, and that's how they got together. Dr. Wilbur, Sybil, and Flora Schreiber were able to pull off this crazy production, which is what Sybil the book and Sybil the movie was, because people wanted to believe that women could have many, many personalities. It was a time in history when women were developing new roles in the workplace, they were developing new domestic roles, they were developing new sexual roles. It was right after the sexual revolution in the 19, late 1960s, early 70s. It was a time when women were going to work, they were leaving the home. And so the idea that um, you could split into many different personalities and that each of those personalities would help you, would help the other personalities or help your core self do what you couldn't do otherwise, was incredibly appealing during that time. The takeaway from Sybil Exposed is a lesson and that's that particularly when it involves women, science always needs to be taken with a grain of salt when mental health professionals, doctors, any kind of scientists come along and say, we now understand something we never understood before. Um, it's really simple or it's almost miraculous. When you hear things like that that just make the solution to a problem sound really exciting and really simple or really sexy, you have to be skeptical.